In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a hypothesis test on a single proportion using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So I'm going to use an example that I, I, I'm using in class, so you may just want to follow along. We're going to be doing a left tail test, so um, hopefully that gives you enough information to do this. But you're going to find the hypothesis test under the stats button right here, so go ahead and click stats. And then we're going to go over to test, and this is where we're going to find all our hypothesis testing options. And the test that we're doing is option five, which is a one proportion Z test. So when this comes up, it asks you what your P sub zero value is, which is this, this is our hypothesize value of the population proportion. And the value that I'm using is 0.75. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And then the next thing it's asking you is how many successes did you have um, when you went out and made the number of observations that you did. So this is from the sample information. So this is going to be 70 successes. And then N is our sample size. I had a sample size of 100. And then the next option down here is asking you really what is our alternative hypothesis. So I'm doing a left tail test, so I'm going to choose the less than sign for a left tail test. And then we can go down and we can choose calculate and hit enter. And what this is going to do is it's going to summarize our values and our results. So the first thing it's saying is you tested for a left tail test. Uh, less, uh, the alternative hypothesis is uh, P is less than 0.75. The, uh, the test statistic, the Z star value, which I call in class, is negative 1.1547. And then the uh, P value or P star, which I call in class, uh, is 0.1241. And then below that, it gives us our sample proportion along with our sample size. One other neat thing about the hypothesis test, and I'll go back in there just a minute, is we can also draw what this picture looks like. So I'm going to go back down and I'm going to choose option five. And this time, instead of calculate, I'm going to choose the draw option, and you'll be able to see. Um, what the distribution looks like for this left tail test giving, given the respective p-value and that critical value. So this will take just a minute for it to draw it. And you can see it's drawing it now. It's showing you the left tail test. And once this is done, it'll show you both the critical value and the p-value. So it's saying it's a one proportion z-test. Um, the, the test statistic is negative 1.1547. And then the P star value or the P value is 0.1241, which is represented by the shaded area.